Welcome to my presentation about the Oscar Computer Algebra System here during JuliaCon 2021. My name is Max Horn. I'm a professor for computer algebra at the Technical University of Kaiserslautern in Germany, and I prepared this presentation together with my colleague Klaus Fieker. And today I'd like to tell you about what Oscar is, what it can do for you, and perhaps what you can do for us. What is Oscar? The abbreviation OSCE stands for Open Source Computer Algebra Research System. And I think this already describes quite well what it is about. And of course, it is based on Julia, otherwise I'd not be talking here. And it's really a tool for interdisciplinary research in computations in algebra, geometry, number theory, and other related areas. But it's also intended as a toolkit for applications of algebra, of computational algebra in particular, let's say in coding theory, in cryptography, in bioinformatics, and in other areas. Who are the people behind OSCAR? Lots of people are contributing to various parts of OSCAR, but the core team of OSCAR itself currently comprises four professors working in computer algebra, with lots and lots of experience writing and developing mathematical software, open source software, and also closed source software. And in addition, we have 10 postdocs with PhDs in computer algebra, many of them also with years and years of experience, who also work on this. That's just the core team. There are lots and lots of contributors also outside of academia, and we are very grateful to all of them. And OSCAR is embedded in a much larger research grant funded by the German Research Council, um, which is about in the wider sense, computational algorithmic algebra. And we are just providing software for the researchers in there. Well, not just, but we are. The structure of OSCAR. So OSCAR is not just Julia code. In fact, it builds on pre-existing systems, which were created by members of our team, or at least parts of them were created by members of our team. And they constitute work done over 30 years and a couple million lines of code. This diagram is supposed to give a rough idea about the structure of how these things fit together. At the very bottom, you see some gray and yellow boxes. These are mostly C and C++ software, which we use. The yellow ones are written by people who are, or at least part of them are written by people who are in our team. Above it, in green, are the four cornerstone systems, in darker green. So um, there is in number theory, Hacker and Nemo, these are Julia packages, and also abstract algebra, which is more general than number theory. That's one cornerstone. There's the gap computer algebra system, dealing with group and representation theory. Polymeg is computational computer algebra system specialized on tropical and polyhedral geometry. And there's Singular, which is about algebraic geometry, commutative and non-commutative algebra, and related things. To be able to use them in Julia, we developed for the three non-Julia cornerstones, we developed interface packages in Julia, which are in light green above them. And there are some other Julia packages um, developed interfacing to C code that we are using. And at the very top, there is Oscar GL itself, which ties together these cornerstones and aims to provide a consistent interface for all these capabilities, so that you can take a group um, define a polymeg and move it to GAP, deal with the capabilities of GAP there, take the result and maybe plug it into a singular compute invariance. Features of OSCAR. So what are the features of OSCAR? The following list is both too long and too short. I mean, um, it doesn't list everything OSCAR can do, and it also lists a few things that we are currently still working, which are work in progress. It's meant to just give you an idea of the kind of flavor of things OSCAR can do, of what kind of computer algebra system OSCAR is or is going to be. So we provide efficient basic arithmetics, working with polynomials, matrices, matrices, finite fields, number fields, power series, groups, all with common interfaces. We have implementations of both generic and specialized optimized linear algebra for all these basic structures. And these are, of course, foundational for everything else we do. And then we have state-of-the-art implementations of factorization algorithms for polynomials and integers. We have algorithms in commutative algebra. In number theory, for example, we can compute class groups and Galois groups, and many, many other things. In algebraic geometry, for working with elliptic curves, toric varieties. In group theory, 
in invariant theory, and much, much more, which is already there and is to come. To just pick one feature to talk about, let's look at multivariate polynomials. That's relatively basic, but on the other hand, I am pretty sure that most people listening will be familiar with these. So let's talk about them. Oscar provides multivariate polynomials. So do other packages in Julia. But first of all, Oscar is relatively old, so it predates many of these other implementations, and many of them deal with polynomials in floating point, with floating point coefficients. But our polynomials really are over exact coefficient rings. Not just, we also have inexact coefficient rings, but mostly exact coefficient rings of interest. Fields, finite fields, number fields, function fields, integers, residue rings of any of those, um, other polynomial rings, and more. In fact, we have several implementations. We have generic implementations in pure Julia, but also for certain coefficient rings, in certain cases, optimized, highly tuned implementations in C and C++ that we leverage in OSCAR. For these multivariate polynomials, we provide many useful functions and state-of-the-art algorithms. For example, computing group map bases over exact fields or the integers, multivariate factorization of polynomials over many kinds of domains, with a very new and state-of-the-art implementation, really, fast GCD computations, which are important, of course, for implementing function fields. Since a lot of people have asked us what the difference is between OSCAR and Symbolics, I want to briefly talk about that. So if you don't know it, Symbolics is another Julia-based computer algebra system. But it has a very different focus and different goals, which is fine. There are many different kinds of computer algebra systems. To give you an idea, in a nutshell, and admittedly highly oversimplified, you can think of it maybe like this. In Symbolics, you primarily deal with elements, while in Oscar, the focus is on structures, on algebraic structures. So let's say in Symbolics, you might solve equations, integrals, perform term transformations, and so on. In Oscar, it's more about computing properties of rings, of groups, of other objects. In Symbolics, you declare assumptions last. In Oscar, you declare them first. And that means that if I write x, in Symbolics, I can just write x and then only later determine if it's x in Rx, Rxy, Fpx, or one of these rings. While in Oscar, each of these polynomial rings has a different x. So maybe I made you curious with my talk. Maybe you have questions. Maybe you want to contribute. You need support. Maybe you want to develop and implement new methods in modern algebra building on state-of-the-art infrastructure, well, here's your chance, here's your opportunity. Oscar is still very much growing and in development. There's the opportunity to discuss and affect design decisions. So please talk to us. We'd love to hear from you. Um, follow that link to get ideas on how to contact us. And of course, we will be around for questions. Thank you very much for your attention.